Welcome. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to perform a straight splice and a splice on connector using the Core Alignment Fiber Fox Mini 6S Plus Fiber Optic Fusion Splicer. I will be doing this with fixed and movable holders. Let's get started. First, turn on your splicer by depressing the on off button till it beeps. Make sure your splicer setting is on the proper mode of the splicing you're about to perform. To change, go into your main menu by depressing the arrow on the screen or the arrow button. Once in your main menu, go to your splice menu and then select splice mode. Here you can scroll through and find the proper setting for the application you're about to perform. Once complete, hit your back button until you are back to the main splice screen. Now install your heat shrink tube. When stripping your fiber, turn on your stripper. Take your fiber and the right fiber holder for the type of fiber you're splicing. Here I'm using 900 micron and a 900 micron holder. Place your fiber in and leave approximately a one inch tail coming out. Close your lid. Open your stripper doors. Place your holder in your stripper. Close both your doors. Wait for the beep. Once it beeps, firmly squeeze on both the divots on your stripper and pull apart. At this point, if you're using fixed holders, you would remove the fiber from the holder. If you're actually using the movable holders, at this point, you would clean it from here. For cleaning the fiber, Load your cloth with the movable fiber. Make a V within your cloth. Pull your fiber through. For the movable holder, you leave the fiber in, make a V, place your fiber in, and do the same. For cleaving fiber using the fixed holder, there are three channels, 250, 900, and two millimeter, three millimeter channel. I am using the 900 micron fiber. Place your fiber in the channel and bring the tip of your jacketing up to somewhere between seven and 10 millimeters on the scale. Then close your door. At that point, close your Cover, activate your cleaver. Remove your fiber. To prepare your cleaver for a movable holder, you need to remove the fixed holder. To do this, use the Allen key that was provided in your cleaver case. Remove the screw. Close your lid, remove your holder. At this point, you can take your fiber that's in the fixed holder and just bring it in. You do not have to adjust the fiber. Push it all the way up, close your lid, activate your cleaver. Here, I will be demonstrating how to load the splicer using both the fixed and movable holders. When using the fixed holder, open the lid, place the fiber in the V-groove, 
and the face of the fiber should be between the end of the v-groove and the tips of the electrodes. For the movable holder, everything is already prepared. You take and you just place it in your splicer. At this point it will pause. Once it's paused, this gives you the opportunity if you have a bad cleave or a bad cleave angle to remove the fiber and reprep it for splicing. Everything looks good. Now you can press set on the button or on the screen to start the splicing process. Once complete, open your wind cover and allow it to perform a tensile test. This is a pull test on the fiber to test the integrity of the splice. Once complete, open your covers Bring your heat shrink up, centering the splice in your shrink tube. Open your oven. Place your tube in the oven, close, and turn on your heater. Once the process is complete, Remove your fiber and place in your cooling tray. Now I will be showing you how to remove the fixed holders in order to use the movable holders throughout the system. First, unscrew the screw using the Phillips head screwdriver provided in the kit and then pull out the holder. At this point now, you're able to Use the movable holder throughout your stations. You can use it on your stripper and then on your cleaver as well. For a splice on connector, I am going to install the connector holder. And then for this demonstration, I am going to leave the fixed holder in place for the inbound fiber. To load your splice on connector, open your holder door, remove the protective shell, place your splice on connector in the holder, close your door. Now let's prepare our fiber for a splice on connector. First, Take your 900 micron back boot, place it on your fiber, and your shrink tube. Now prepare your inbound fiber. Strip, clean, and cleave the fiber. Once your fiber is stripped, cleaned, and cleave, open your holder, close your door. Next, close your wind cover. Once you've paused and you're happy with your cleave angles, again, you can press set or press the button on the screen to perform your splice. At this point, bring up your heat shrink tube to your wing cover. Open your wing cover, allow the tensile test to be completed. Open your holders. Remove your connector and bring down your shrink tube to the back of the metal connector. Make sure your heat shrink is on the proper setting. To change, go into your main menu, go into your splice menu, go into your heater mode, then select heat mode. Here you can find your proper heat mode to scroll down, push your down button, 
And here are your splice on connectors. Once set, go back to the main splice screen. Open your oven, place your connector in, close down. At this point you will turn your oven on, wait for your red light to go out. Once it's gone out, open your oven, remove your connector and place in the cooling tray. Once it's cooled, if you have a visual fault locator, you can remove your dust cap, plug your connector in and check the connector to see that it's everything is good. Once complete, remove your connector, replace your dust cap, bring your back boot up and install it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.